I remember flying from Las Vegas back to Utah thinking that I had taken on a job that I was, I was not qualified for. You know, every one of us, to some extent or other, has imposter syndrome, everyone. And it was really that one single time when I felt like, are you kidding yourself? You're not qualified to lead a university during the time of a pandemic. I have my bad days where I just feel like, okay, nothing went well, I haven't slept, I feel terrible, and I'm good at handling it sometimes, and sometimes I'm not. But I think to me, like when I sleep or breathe or run, those are the things that, you know, or I just like watch a comedy show that also works. <laughs> laughter, laughter as medicine, yeah. Yeah, and then celebrating what you're accomplishing is so important. You know how to take care of yourself. When I was your age, I wasn't very good at that. I was just, uh, I was, what I was about was about powering through everything. And in some ways, I think I was quite abusive on myself as a young person, but it also helped me to achieve things that many people didn't achieve. So it is kind of a double-edged sword. But I think it's so important to know that when you need to sleep, to sleep. Uh, breathing is something I emphasize very much. I am a follower of Zen Buddhism because, because it truly is something so beautiful, powerful, and meaningful when you connect your mind with your body and you are present in the moment. Like right now, I am just here with you, talking to you. I don't want to think about tonight, you know, and things like that. So, um, so, the, so, so that, that is sort of the, the, the counter to the word overwhelmed. We want to be living every day with joy and enthusiasm and chop it up, chop your work up. So what would I say to students who are leading or aspire to lead or are simply maybe being overwhelmed sometimes by their schoolwork alone? Um, so, for, for, so for everyone, I already said, you know, learn how to breathe, learn, learn to care for yourself, but chop your work up into small pieces. It's just like eating. You're not going to eat a big piece of steak. One of my favorite books is Anne Lamott's Bird by Bird, where she tells the story of how her brother had his homework about birds and he was crying. And his father just said, just take it bird by bird because he wasn't ready. He put it off. Just look at the eagle and the cormorant and then the flamingo. Just, you know, one bird at a time. Yeah, so I think if we could take it bird by bird, uh, learn to breathe, and then also celebrate the things that we are accomplishing. Let's say you only got two A's and three C's. Well, look at the A's and celebrate it. You know, if your club meeting uh, was only half good, well, celebrate the half good and, and ask yourself, what did I learn? What did we learn? We're programmed to focus on our problems. And, you know, recently I did a video for Live On Utah uh, about people who are depressed and have suicidal thoughts. And I, and I quoted the Zen master, Thich Nhat Hanh, who said, you don't have to wait till you're completely free of suffering to allow yourself to be happy. And that word allow is so important. I give myself permission to laugh. Even if I don't feel like it, sometimes it's funny. You just do it anyway and then like, you feel better somehow. <laughs> I hope that, you know, our, our values of exceptional care, exceptional accountability, exceptional results, even when we're not perfect, that we try to remember those every day and, and live by those values. And I want to say to our students um, that the reason I am at UVU is because of you guys. Uh, I left a great life, great job in Singapore because I really love this idea of working with students. And many of our students are non-traditional. Almost 30% of our students are 25 years and older because I am a firm believer that whatever happened to you in high school or even after high school, and if it was negative, forget it. You're here. The only question is like, what do you want to do today? You know, is there one thing in this big university with tens of thousands of people and a lot of resources, is there something that excites you at all? And the investment that you're making, students who are listening, the investment you're making is not for your mother or your father or your grandmother or grandfather or your church authority or your neighbor. It's for you. I would just like every student to believe that, that each of you, you are worth the investment you're making. And that is just such a wonderful thought. Ten years from now, you will look back and see all these hard times. They've formed me into the better person that I am. All my successes, they're also, they've also formed me into the person that I am. Um, so go Wolverines. Mm -hmm.